Today, information has the power to shape our lives. This was most visible during the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. The sheer number of patients getting admitted to inpatient wards was overwhelming during this two waves of COVID-19. But that is what sets a pandemic apart from any other form of public health care crisis. These were the days when ICU beds, ventilators in some facilities faced acute shortages. So the challenge for us was to provide accurate information to public and for the government officers as well. Now getting all this information was a Herculean task. Now every day we used to generate uh, multiple level of information of very deep kinds and they needed to be the backbone of decision making for the government. We were having three critical issues which had to be resolved immediately. Availability of beds in real time at hospital level, city level, block level, district level and state level. We needed data and we needed to understand it quickly. We also needed data on doctors, hospital staff and medical facilities so that we could prioritize issues when they get escalated. That's why we created an interactive dashboard that captures key matrices for all COVID-related data. The simple visual representation along with drill-down capabilities allowed the decision makers to understand the situation instantly. The insights from our dashboard and simulation capabilities allowed different government departments to collaborate better. It also established clear communication channels with the citizens to keep them safe and informed throughout the pandemic. COVID-19 is very serious. It was actually a bad thing. So, I didn't know if I had a bad thing. So, I didn't know if I had a bad thing. I didn't know if I had a bad thing. कोविड-19 डैशबोर्ड चेक करली, शेटी मतलब स्पष्ट है अपने इनफॉरमेशन थिला जे को हॉस्पिटल रे कितने बेड अवेलेबिलिटी अच्छी, तापरे मु तारी सही इनफॉरमेशन पाई मु बापा माँ को नेगरी हॉस्पिटल रे एडमिशन करली, आव बहुत 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 से भी ट्रीटमेंट है यार। We built on the initial work and included other related factors too, like getting a better idea of people who needed support, such as stranded visitors, better knowledge of returning migrants, simulation analysis to explore the impact of different lockdown situations, to effectively balance public safety and economic activities. We made oxygen concentrators available for free for public through the dashboard. So all that you needed to do is register yourself there in the COVID platform and the oxygen concentrator would be delivered at your home free of cost. And when you call them up and tell them that your work is done, they will pick it back. We are really pleased that within three months of going live, the dashboard was averaging 40,000 hits a day and attracting traffic from 123 countries. Timely help and support must have touched and saved thousands of people. And all thanks to use of technology in the right manner through COVID dashboard. SAS has always firmly believed in data for good. And I firmly believe that this project is a great way of harnessing data in a meaningful way to make a difference.